Okay, so today I am going to go through my very, 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 very first product empties video. So if you're not familiar with this concept, it's where I go through the stuff that I've gone through and give you a mini review about how I felt about it, whether I'd repurchase it and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a favourites, but it actually just goes through what I used up which is quite satisfying for some people and for me because I am the worst when it comes to actually finishing up products. I get bored of products very quickly and I like to dabble in a little bit of everything so I'll use one product one minute, I'll switch to another foundation the next week. I'm always kind of like switching back and forth back and forth so a lot of my products have a bit of a dent but they never actually get finished which has always been the most frustrating thing about it because then when you don't finish it you feel bad for buying new makeup but you know that's life and yeah so I thought this is going to be a very rare occasion that I will get to film another one so I thought I'll just film this and then we'll just see when I get to film another one. It definitely won't be a monthly thing, so not going to be a monthly empties, probably just a empties one, and then we'll see if we actually get to two. So the sun's kind of gone down, had to put the blinds down. It's running into some card problems, so yeah, sorry about that, but hopefully the lighting's even better, or whatever. Let's just get on to it. I don't have that many things, unfortunately. Some of it's um, hair products, so Hopefully you guys don't mind that, but it is empty, so it all counts, right? Maybe I'll start off with a hair product. I have gone through both the Macadamia Healing Oil Treatment, as well as the um, Deep Repair Mask. Um, this one's the second one. I finished... I've, I've already finished one of these, um, and this is smaller than the tubs. So I finished one of them, and I finished the oil, and I absolutely loved both of them. So the deep repair mask smells amazing, and it really just conditions your hair. It's a mask, so it's preferred that you leave it in your hair for like 5-10 to 10 minutes. Um, and what I like to do sometimes is, after I've kind of showered and washed my hair and put conditioner and all of that jazz, I go back in with this as kind of a overnight treatment. So with my towel dried hair, I just apply a little bit of this to the tips and then in the morning when I wash it off it's really really super soft um, and that's how sometimes I like to use this just because I don't really like waiting in the shower for 10 minutes or so but it's really good and it smells amazing it smells really fruity and fresh kind of like herbal essence um, but strangely the scent of this does not match this whatsoever you'd think they're similar but they're completely different. This is really musky and this is more fruity, sweet kind of scent. So that's a bit weird, but I still really love this as well. This is just the oil that I like to put every, basically every day or every other day. Um, and it's just amazing. Um, I will be repurchasing this. I'm still going through my Moroccan oil, which I have a full bottle of still. I do love my hair oils because I think they're just amazing. And if you have color treated hair like mine, um, if you have ombre at the bottom, or just you know, if you, your hair is just a little bit dry or anything like that, these work amazing. So these two finished up. This is actually a new one, so I don't know where I put the old one. So sorry about that. I finally threw that out. Two more hair products. I finished the John Frieda Sheer Boulogne Shampoo and Conditioner. And I've talked about this in my in my ombre hair care video. It's a purple shampoo, so if you can see that there, but it isn't as purple as the Lee Stafford one that I'm currently using. I don't mind the colour correcting qualities of this. It's not too bad. I mean could be better but it's not too bad but the thing that I don't like about this is the smell it just smells really manly and I just don't like having like manly smelling hair it's like I like sweet fruity girly like even if it's musky but like vanilla -y, I don't know just something that smells nice this just smells like men's deodorant so I didn't really like that um, and I'm so Happy that I finally finished it because I didn't like this and I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. I've moved on to the Lee Stafford Beach Blondes 
um, purple shampoo and conditioner and that is amazing. It is super super like pigmented. See how this is like a milky purple colour. The Lee Stafford one is like a very very dark blue and that works really great. And also the Lee Stafford smells like uh, the Macadamia Healing Oil which smells like Angel by Terry Moog Moogler? Moogler? I don't know. Yeah, Angel, if you know that smell. So that's that. And one more hair product is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I actually, it's not this one, this is a new one as well. I'm really sorry that I don't have the old packaging. But this is the new one that I got. The one that I finished off was the Tropical one, so the yellow packaging. I love this dry shampoo. Um, you can often buy it on sale at like discount warehouse or something like that or price mine. And it's my favorite dry shampoo. It's amazing. I love it to bits. And it's like I use it today on my roots. Um, and this is third day hair, so it really, really just helps lengthen the um, duration between washes. So. I love it and cannot live without dry shampoo, it's amazing. Oily hair, this is a must. Okay, so this is where it comes to a bit of a disappointment. Didn't actually finish a lot of makeup items because like I said, I have so much makeup, it's ridiculous and then I never like finish anything so when I finished this I was just like psyched. Firstly, they're all really face stuff. I finished the Revlon Colorstay. Again, I don't know where the packaging is. I think I threw it. It's so like unsatisfying to see the packaging like not empty. It's like what's the point of an empties video? I wonder where I put it. I might have actually thrown it out. Anyways, okay, so I'm just going to talk about it. It's the Revlon Colorstay Oily to Combination Foundation in 360 Golden Caramel. And I love that foundation. It's my holy grail. I've talked about it in my much favorite and how I finished it already. It's just amazing. I'm really, really sorry that I don't have it to show you guys, but it's my HG. It is an amazing drugstore foundation. And I actually just watched Jodie's YouTube video last night or the night before and she talked about how there's a new formulation for Revlon come out with a um, a pump and I think we're the first to get it which is really exciting Golden Caramel is actually one of the shades the darkest shades that only the US comes with so when I do buy that shade I actually buy it online so unfortunately I won't be able to test that out like a natural tan fits me as well but it doesn't have as much of the yellow undertones as golden caramel but if I really wanted to try I guess I could push for the natural tan um, but I have so much foundation to go through still that I probably won't get around to it um, so yeah I finished that um, okay moving on to face powders so I finished two this one is the Natio mineral press powder yay Pan. You can see the pan. I only saved this to do this video, but it, I have it in medium tan and I got it in like a freebie from Priceline. I really like this. Um, will I repurchase it? Probably not, just because I am still going through the millions of powders that I have. It's a good powder to have, but it's not different from the Revlon Photo Ready powder in that it's like it's got like that sheen to it. It doesn't look really powdery, which is really, really nice. Um, it's like similar to the MAC MSF in that context, but MAC MSF is actually a lot more matte looking than this. Um, but yeah, I like this because it didn't have any reddish undertones and it just helped mattify without making it too matte and dry looking. And yeah, I liked it. Can't complain about it. Glad I finished it though. And one other thing I finished is from MAC. Woo! It is the MSF Natural in medium D. And this one I use as a contour, so I don't actually use it as a face powder. Like I mentioned in my much favorites, if you guys watch that, I like to use a darker shade of foundation. So this is a powder foundation, and I got it in medium deep, initially thinking that this would work as an all over face powder, but it was actually like two shades too dark. Um, and when I put it on, I looked like I had the biggest fake tan on. So this was a big no-no in terms of an all-over face powder or a foundation. But what I did instead was I kind of used it to contour um, and to bronze up my face just to blend it all in. Usually the outer perimeter of my face is a little bit darker than like the middle portion of my face so it gives dimension to the whole look. And um, 
I liked it. I obviously used it all the time because I finished it. Yay! I don't think you can back to Mac this, can you? I was actually considering picking another one of these because I did really, really like it. Um, but I do have a couple of bronzers to go through still. At the moment, I'm trying to finish my Revlon Colorstay Mineral Finishing Powder in Suntan Matte. And it's similar in concept to this, to be honest. Like, it works as a pretty nice bronzer as a contour colour as well. So almost finished this one. Look at that. It used to be like a dome. So nearly done. Maybe this could be in the next video. <laughs> and one last thing. It's not really an empties, but it's a pan. You can see the pan down there. So I thought I'd include it anyways. This is the uh, Physicians Formula Virtual Face Powder. I do have a backup of this just because I love it so much. I think they might have discontinued it or changed the packaging to make it look like more the pearls. Um, and it's just a pearlescent looking powder. It's a face powder, but because it's so shimmery, I only like to use it as a highlight on the cheekbones. I'm actually wearing it now right there on top. And that's what it looks like. I've had this for like years and I finally hit pan this year. I was so happy about that. I never mentioned this in my video, but I like to go back to it every now and then. That's why it's taking me such a long time to finish it. I just want to finish it. So I thought I'd put this in there because I will be finishing it very, very soon and I obviously don't want to kind of make a separate video for it. But I love this powder. It is just amazing. This one is in beige pearl. They also have like bronze pearl and stuff like that. I bought this from um, Cosmetics Plus for $15, which is awesome. I think you might be able to get it on iHerb.com because they sell physicians formula stuff. So check it out if you guys are interested. kind of reminds me of... Um, vanilla pigment except this is more of like a pinky glow instead of like that pinky golden glow to vanilla but it has like that opalescent pearly quality to it I'm sure you guys know what I, I'm saying right so that's that and those are my product empties not much I know but it's the first time I get to do the video so I was really excited and I just was like yes I can finally do one uh, I find them awesome to watch I love um, hearing about what people thought about um, the stuff that they used so yeah hopefully you guys found this helpful or entertaining in some some shape or form and a thumbs up for more it'll motivate me to keep using up my products I might even just like waste a little bit just so I can put it in <laughs> crazy crazy the things we do right anyways thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next one bye